can't tell if from the ocean when the waves come in if the sound is reflecting off the leaves shortly after or if the waves are sort of creating a wind that's making the leaves make that sound that is equivalent to the ocean waves. So I hear the waves there and then I noticed I could hear the waves behind me. And there's this direct interplay between the wave sound and the sound that the, the forest behind me is making. The maple trees. That's the only name of a tree I really know, except for pine. Pine and maple. But one doesn't need to know the names of things in order to appreciate them. It might be easier to appreciate them when we don't know the name. And we're so busy worried about what the names of things are and we're not looking at it. But as the waves get louder, the sound of the trees gets louder too, and it's really a fascinating discovery. I don't know if it's the change in pressure that's causing that sound of the leaves, or the wind, or... I don't know, it can't really be the wind, because unless wind is slightly coming in, or the air is changing slightly with each wave. And the air is, counting, is carrying the wave sound, and then it's reflecting off the leaves and coming back. Sounds like such a boring thing to talk about, right? But when I heard that, when I realized that, it was really a remarkable thing. It's something that I could sit here and observe for several hours. Just that one fascinating aspect of reality and I would listen in such a way that at some point I'd understand how it worked. Maybe it would take a minute, maybe it would take two hours, it doesn't really matter. Last night, I got away with taking one trazodone instead of one and a quarter, and I forgot to take glycine, and I still managed to fall asleep, and yesterday I felt quite tired, and today, after being awake for a little while, I felt tired again, so I decided to come have a rest at the beach. Yesterday I was reading and reading, and I my brain eventually did feel energized and today I started reading again but I did have the intention to get outside because it's a nice day do some earthing breathing in the fresh ocean air listening to the sounds of the waves and now the waves being mirrored off the leaves of the trees And I had a couple other things to say that I wrote down, but I forgot that notebook. So I'll talk about them later. Yeah. Not today, not yesterday, but the day before when I woke up, I immediately did a back bend in bed. This could be a sign that things are good. And I've been having some vivid dreams, not so much last night, but the two nights before I definitely did. I had this dream where I was in school and the two rows of students in front of me in like a lecture hall, they were all exterminated somehow. and. I think it was ordered by like Trump or something and then I I knew this and everybody else was gonna go back to class and I was like I'm not going back there like screw this but everyone else was just kind of like whatever and just went back and they could have been exterminated next so it was really a strange vivid dream 
And I had that dream after I realized that I haven't had a dream where people are like chasing me or trying to kill me in years and years and years. I don't remember the last time. Unless like in the hospital or something, but those feel more like waking dream nightmare things. So my brain's trying to work out how this is related to dreams. It's really strange. And yesterday I felt really tired. I laid on the beach most of the day. And I didn't, I haven't been taking any upper vitamins like methylfolate or SAMe or anything like that, like uridine. Because I don't feel depressed. I just felt tired. And I could take tyrosine and that might give me a boost. But I want to be a little bit careful and not boost myself to the point where then there needs to be some kind of crash. After I get through the rest of this month, then I'll boost myself if I need to. But I don't know if I do need to, because today I feel like I have energy and got some things done doing laundry, so I don't know. Because eight and a half months, if I count from when the last crisis happened, would be July 1st-ish. So I want to be careful up until that point. And last night I took 37 and a half milligrams of trazodone, which is good, it's three quarters of one. And then I'll go down to half tonight and then I might stay at half for a couple of days just because I don't want to take away the sleeping med totally when I'm at the point where it could be sort of real crisis point unless that was the crisis that I had and yeah that's where I'm at right now I remember after I was diagnosed, I couldn't see these tendons for a really long time because I gained so much weight and then I remember when I started getting a bit healthier, I could just start to see these tendons again and I was so excited to see my own tendons. It's funny, I came down to the beach I'd already walked back up, but I came back down because I felt like the sky was going to open up in an interesting way, and looks like an eye. And I've had a quite a bit of tense breathing these last few days, 40 minutes plus in three of the four last days, or four of the five. I'm not sure. Starting with the concert, maybe that changed my energy somewhat. But even I was sitting on a log up on a cliff and editing some of my nature videos and I was breathing tense. And it's hard to know what that's about. If it's, that's not something I should be doing right now. Maybe I was also texting a friend So I'm trying to feel out what that was all about, though I have had tense breathing when editing videos, though I haven't been doing it that much. Not very much calm breathing, but lots of focused breathing while studying. And my breathing could be relatively faster because this place has a relatively slower, more eternal energy. Just like before I left, the few days before I left, I had a lot of calm breathing and I didn't feel calm. But here I feel calm, but it's saying it's tense. So it's kind of backwards. But I think that shows something about the relativity of consciousness.
last night I took half a trazodone and all the other stuff that I usually take and when I was falling asleep at a certain point I felt like I was grabbed and like I felt this shock in my brain like I was literally ripped out of myself and into a different reality like a nightmare it was a bad dream but it didn't feel like a dream it felt like some kind of in-between realm and I didn't feel like I was sleeping really but I didn't try to stop it even though I was aware I didn't I just let it go on I wasn't afraid of it even though it was scary what was happening and then I let the dream finish and then when it did finish I realized well I'm not quite sleeping so then I got up and took another half of trazodone so I went back to one whole trazodone so tonight I'll try three quarters of a trazodone and I might try two Benadryl or one and a half Benadryl to maybe up the Benadryl and down the trazodone but it's good to know that I can have that happen and just stay asleep even though I didn't feel like I was sleeping. I was dreaming awake but my body didn't wake up and get scared. So it stayed within the dream realm. I don't know if that makes sense. But it's like this real lucid dreaming realm. And so I got up and took the half of trazodone and then I did fall asleep for real. And I might have had weird dreams. And I didn't sleep as long. I woke up at 9 and I was still awake past midnight. So that's not like a 12 hour sleep. So I'm just sort of trying to figure this sleep thing out. And also I feel like my brain is trying to learn what this is all about like what it means I do feel like there's multiple layers to reality especially since that other weird experience I had two weeks ago where you know I was in some emptiness dimension and then trying to sleep and then realizing I was already asleep and then getting up it was really weird so there's there's multiple layers and today I took 500 milligrams of uridine and then one d serine just because that kind of stuff that happened last night was a little bit psychotic if you want to call it that but it was within the dream realm it didn't translate back over into my waking body's realm so I'm wondering if it applies to Ken Wilber's work on the subtle, causal, and something body. Physical body, subtle body, and causal body? I don't know. It's like these layers. And so, yeah. And I'm hearing the sound still and the circular movement of sitting like woo still goes on. That started when I was in California. And I'm wondering if I'm feeling less like talking on video and more like writing. And I'm feeling a little bit I don't know if impatient is the word, but I need to keep going with these experiments until probably until April or May of next year to see how this stuff plays out. One thing I thought of was how I have all these supplements and I'm doing the supplement thing, but by going away to Peaceful Sanctuary, I'm not seeing if the supplements can help me and carry me through being in a regular environment. I don't know. That would be a different test. Because I'm wondering if they're helping. And I think they are because 
there's not the same level of fear which might arise when the body doesn't have enough nutrition. That is one of my theories. Yeah, I don't really... I have a few things to talk about, maybe. Oh, I started taking 25 milligrams of the Cal brand of lithium orotate at night because I ran out of the Hans Napier advanced research kind. And... Yeah, I'm not sure what all this tense breathing is about, but it's been a lot more lately. Yeah, that's kind of it. <laughs>